everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place. Children of Murda? Not Murda. <laughs> Children of Morda. That'd be a different game. Because I think that either is uh, slang for murder or alternatively. Close to French for a bad word for poop. Anyway, so we died in our last episode, but it's actually I'm taking that death as an opportunity because Dizzy, it's nauseated, feverish. Oh. The Bergson's mind unsettled from the incremental rise of the corruption. That was our problem. No longer were even they immune to its ill effects. We had lower max HP because of corruption fatigue. We're gonna let him rest anyway, but I'm pretty sure that the time has come for us to play as Jonathan again. And uh, I've been told that I'm misplaying as Jonathan. Surprise, surprise. But apparently, his uh, shield, which is not what that is, it's left shift, there we go. His shield um, allows him to attack whilst shielding. Ergo, you can keep yourself fully protected while also, simultaneously, dishing out some damage of your own. So you're absolutely right. I was very much misinterpreting the character. Drops a gemstone. You know? Uh, I'm just going to use it right away. A bird in the hand is worth one in the charm slot, as far as I'm concerned. So that actually, I feel like, gives me a way better idea. Just that one simple tip, you know? Sometimes that's what a mentor uh, is there for. Gives you the, uh, the keys to the kingdom. Now I understand that when we come to a group of enemies, we can actually stand and fight a little bit. What did I think? I don't know, I thought maybe you couldn't attack while your shield was also up. What sense does that make? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, let's be honest. But simultaneously, you know, most things irrational don't make a lot of sense. But yeah, we still ha hold some irrational beliefs from time to time. I'm sure you do as well. Like, the irrational hope that maybe somehow I will defeat the, uh... Let me out, please. The irrational hope that I'll beat this stone golem this episode. But now I'm like, oh, okay, so like... Everything's becoming clearer to me. It was the final piece of information that's made everything else start to fit. Um, Malf was like... I was telling Malf, like, I, I did so good as... Sorry, so well. As Kevin. And he was like, you know, whoa, did you... How did you know how to play as that play style? And I was like, uh, you know, maybe I'm just great, I guess. Now I'm realizing... You know, in my, in my head, I was kind of like, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> Now I'm kind of realizing it wasn't that hard because I was playing every character like Kevin should play. You know, I was just hitting them with the, the hit and run tactics like the Simpsons video game. Instead, we got to stand and let them fight like Ken Watanabe says in Godzilla 2014. And if you didn't follow all the metaphors, so be it. No problem. Um, so corruption fatigue is a cool idea. The more characters... You have, you finally get some corruption fatigue in there. You gotta swap between them, otherwise you're gonna face a debuff. Good way to, to factor some variety in. I have no idea how we're gonna beat this boss for the record. Divine Shield. A temporary shield that absorbs all damage received. Explodes when it expires, dealing the damage back. That seems amazing. And uh, we will definitely take our time on, uh, on this one. Honestly, John could use the levels for one. He's probably our least played character just by... He's our least successful character. But I legitimately think um, there's a pretty good chance that changes. Just watching the armor. Yo, did you see that? That was incredible. Get out. Thank you. I think there's a legitimate chance that changes after this, now that I know that the shield technique is there. Okay. Increase John's armor. Unleash your rage to temporarily become invulnerable and deal thorn damage to attackers. Honestly, this is where you're going to find out... Do we have any trait points? No. This is where you're going to find out whether you're my kind of person or not. I am a passive bonus person most of the time. <laughs> Temporarily increase rage gain. Obviously, 
we, di we didn't take our control ability, so that's pretty much useless to us right out of the gate. But, um, I'm a, I'm a passive benefit sort of guy, you know? You give me a business opportunity, no thanks. You tell me there's a high interest savings account, all right. Now you have my attention. One held a okay, gift. Okay, okay. Two hit from I'm thinking today creatures. we're going was the lady the, the, the easternmost option. Erickson. F. Dude, the invulnerability, even only for a few seconds, is really great. Especially because we have decent damage output. So I'm just gonna use our charm, because honestly, like, it's not worth anything for us right now. So, you know, sure, it's not worth anything if we use it for no reason either, but... Um, I'm not gonna hold on to something... I mean, we, we should. Let me rephrase, okay? The literal thing we should do is hold on to it until we get either a better charm or our rage ability. But I just wanted to yeet it to lower my mental overhead right now. And I stand by that decision as being bad. A bad decision made for a good reason. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be real careful. The one thing I will say, it can be a little tricky to note when your stamina is about to run out. Straight up, great cover, brother. I didn't know you were there. Okay. I'm willing to peep this room. Let's see what's up. What's up is there are many enemies. I think we just got like the best divine ability in the game. That's my honest opinion. Wooden nails. Okay, so what was it? Wooden nails, we build the dog a bed. And all the quests are related to the dog. You know that dog's gonna come bite the final boss in the face or something. It's gonna be the dog as smacking them. Help. Oh. How about this? Get me out, get me out, get me out, please. Thank you, thank you. We're on 12 HP. Hi! Please let me out. Like I said, we'll probably crush it as John now that we know the secret. That was not even close, dude. We played like garbage. My bad. But we got wooden nails. I need your help, Sheila. Sheila. Me, come to aid the family. For Mary. We need a and magic children. class. And so Ben's letter ended. Well, that was a terrible performance, dude. His doubts showing he contemplated his relationship with Aurea, the emotional and single-minded Sheila. Why had they ended? The question still unanswered. Benjamin, I didn't ask for your life story, okay? I, I want me eager to get back into the caves of... Karth. Never would a wolf Yo. live in as nice a house as the one Now ben we're talking. Building. When asked what name to put on the house, Lucy yelled out, Riker! Riker the Wolf Cub! Look at that. He's got hops. Okay. Um, we do have enough gold to upgrade something. I think we should upgrade. Why not? Well, there is a reason. You could save, but still. Take me down. I honestly think we should give John another try if he doesn't have uh, fatigue. He doesn't have fatigue. The thing is, you know, nothing worth doing is ever easy. That's not literally true, but like, you know, breathing is worth doing. It's pretty easy for most people. Eating, drinking water, going to the bathroom, you know? I'm not trying to be ableist, I'm just saying, you know, for the purposes of my metaphor here. So you can really... I'm, I'm trying to come up with like a habit here. It seems like it'll work for me when it comes to using the shield. Right now, I feel like the secret is like... If you're fighting an unstunnable enemy, use the shield to block one salvo and then, you know... 
back off. Get your own sandwich. But apart from that, while in combat, it just seems mo very valuable to constantly keep the shift key held down. And now, like, okay. I'm like, how did I die, dude? It's not that hard. And I had, a, I had the greatest relic that ever could have been asked for. Did you hear a man laughing? I don't think that's me laughing. I think that's like another, like a newfound event or something. It might be me laughing. Okay. You're in for a world of hurt, dude. You know what I would love to see on this guy? Is a little bit of cleave. You know, turn him into Kunkka from Dota. Every sword smash sends a... A torrent... Oh, we absolutely want it. Uh, of damage at the other remaining enemies as well. As long as you guys stand, keep shift held down. It's going to do wonders for you. They can hit you through the shield if you have stam available. Oh, dude. Look at that. So gemstone rich. That is not me making that noise. Is that the butcher or is that a new friend? Embarrassed, but at least we have the potion. We should probably start saving potions. That sounds like a demonic laugh to me. I think we should start saving potions. I think they heal us more then I'm getting a benefit out of you. Oh, no! Okay. This is where you do a little kiting. A little bit of that. Wow, that was a heck of a shot. Almost got me. Keep going. Keep going. You got him. You, got, you know what you're doing here. These guys have got to go. That was terrible damage. I don't, I don't. And walking into the goo was substantially worse. I, 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 I. Dude, I'm starting to think. Maybe John's just not my dude. Hey, hey, hey! Increase primary damage. Something, something, something. And it's only a charm. Beating a a, a powerful foe to receive a charm. Feels like an act of great disrespect. But you know what? Here's the beauty of an RPG, okay? Even if we stink, and we kind of, I think we've been doing pretty well with the other characters, but there's basically no argument that we stink with John. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just tank the hit. Why why would you hold the shift key? It's on it's a lot of work. Um Even if you stink. As long as you're leveling up, who cares? You know, eventually you'll reach a point where you're going to be able to... You're going to be able to make it happen. Probably. A companion that stuns enemies. We have had this before. Give him a chance to catch up. We have had this before, but I'm happy to see it as well. I'm happy to see the HP as well. I think, oh, I thought we get a little bit more on this floor. I don't know if I'm ready to move on, you know? I'm a little nervous. Not really, not on an emotional level. I'm a little anxious that, uh, you know, we, we don't possess the necessary tools to survive the next couple of floors, but could be wrong, could be wrong. Either way, you know? You know how uh, Pink Floyd said you can't uh, eat your pudding if you haven't had your meat? I always forget which one it is. Because even as a kid, it didn't make sense to me. I was I was never a dessert-driven child. Oh! I was always like, why won't this dumb kid eat his meat? It's oftentimes the best part of the meal.
Good stun, bro. Dude, we're gonna die again. We're actually, like, already dead. Truly incredible work there. Please, please, we're so close to leveling. Ah! <laughs> we're so close to leveling. Hey, keep in mind, we were here. We, we got here many times. As, uh, as Mark, we almost died on myriad occasions, so don't get too twisted up just yet. I know there's a dude left alive over there, I just want to clear out this little character, or this area, I should say. Okay, okay, okay. Catch him with one of these. Give him a quick little yaw. Didn't even work. We've made it. We have the slightest amount of extra HP. Sure. Un unleash your rage, become temporarily invulnerable. That is what that is, right? Yeah. But we gotta build our rage meter first. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's okay. Build that rage. Don't get caught in those explosions. Right click when possible. Oh, good stun. It didn't stun him long enough. Oh my god. Charm. Corpses have less chance to get corrupted and spawn enemies. Please, the charms are like, is not bad. But. I need more. I, I need. I need real benefits. I need permanent benefits. Please, I'm dying over. Oh, it's it's health, it's health. All right. I think we did okay. Many gemstones, so crack this open. Some might even say those gemstones are righteous. I'm so mad, dude. You know, like probably like. A third of the damage I've taken on this freaking run has been the result of uh, getting hit by an arrow I just wasn't paying attention to. Notice I didn't say came from off screen. I couldn't see it. There's nothing I could do, dude. There's something I could do. I could hold shift. Unfortunately, that's proving to be a nearly impossible task. I could also work on my aggro a little bit. Um... run it's just it really feels like there's no excuse to be taking so much damage as a character that you know has a huge shield in front of them that's that's my two cents on that subject lucky lucky I will say, you, you gotta be real fastidious when it comes to your HP in Children of Morta. Depending on the items you have, at least. If you have a recurring heal, like on your... Summoners oh. in a circle. No, no, no. Surely no, no, nothing no. would come from it. It's kind of a different story, I think. A greater enemy, but also a greater reward. Sir, this is not the right time. Oh god, just go. Just get the heck out of town. Hey, <laughs> well, I don't even remember what I was saying a second ago, to be honest with you. But that is all is is a more mood point now. Whatever, I think it's the champion spawning skellies at at every occasion. What I was going to say is you need to be real fastidious with your HP. Oh, I didn't even see you. You know, because once you get in like an HP... Uh, 
Uh, run. Help. Once you get in an HP funk, you're kind of stuck there forever. That's my experience so far. You're stuck there for a long time. Then even a single basic enemy can just pop out of the woodwork and ruin your life, you know? 6 HP. Go, dude. No, not to these guys. Not to these guys. I don't die to the little slugs, okay? You dropped HP. You're you're a saint. You're a saint. I saw the arrow. You. Oh my freaking word, dude. You know what? You just gotta... It's like other things in life, you know? Maybe you're a great cyclist, a terrible runner. You wanna run a triathlon? Well... You got a bike, but you also got to work on your running a little bit. So, you know, your goals are going to be different. Our goals is John. Very different from our goals is uh, Kevin right now. Our goals is Kevin. Be the stallion that mounts, uh, mounts the world. Our goals is John. I don't know. Make it one step further than the last time. Everything after that is just is gravy. We have full rage. Was it worth it? No. We should not have used it so quickly. But I wanted to know... What it was. You know, I wanted to know how to use it. Oh, you broke through my shield, you son of a gun. Uh, just so that we were prepared. Yo. For when the boss fight came. I'm not... I'm not taking any chances with you. You might bust my shield in a single hit. Okay. HP still at... Survivable levels. Run. Decent. Doing pretty well on money. Yo, yo, I forgot what that thing is. Thing on the floor. Something, something... Shmersh more? Thing on the floor. I we made a rhyme, dude. Bellagio the Odd sought another game of cat and bird. Okay. Follow the mysterious bird-like creature before she disappears. We can do it, dude. Obviously, don't fight further. these guys. That's just a, it's a foolhardy endeavor. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Oh, okay. Still going. Do not linger. With, that was the end, wasn't it? Oh my word. Another I saw the exit, but I was like, I don't know, chase. that could be just a trap room. Kaka, here's full HP. Kaka, here's full HP. Ooh, it's a, it's a golden egg. Call me the goose then. Okay, so we, we actually have another mysterious egg. I just have no idea what you do with it. Ay, 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 ay. You know, you, you look at this level of HP. It just makes you think. I immediately just got hit, too. It just makes... It just makes you think, how are we getting out of this mess? Ooh, incredible. Not another one of you, please. And we're not even close to leveling. Oh my god. We're not that close to leveling up. So you, you do a little kiting. You walk them through the spikes. Right click at your leisure. Fish for experience whenever possible. Stun. Stun. Thank you. Even just getting a single hit took out an enemy. I, I have to get in the habit of something. And it's going to be... I already know for a fact it's going to be a hard one. It's going to be... 
using our dodge roll way less often. Because I'm so used to Gungeon, where you just get in and then, you know, shoot, 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 and then, you know, get out. But dodge rolls are unlimited in Gungeon. And in Children of Morta, they're like the most precious resource. Sorry, we didn't level up, did we? No. Run. Oh. oh. Hopefully the rule applies. Just because I can attack you through this doesn't mean you get to attack me. Decent. Well, I think, like, if we die soon... I'll still think of this as, like, you know... Between these two John runs... One way or the other, we've learned a lot, you know? It's a scroll of wisdom. Grandfather's journals. Whoops. Anya... Anaidaya Council, or lack thereof. Anaidaya, along with Nohar the Golem, have locked themselves away in her chamber. She refuses to open the doors. Drake, <laughs> Drake be darned. But we the, we the North. She refuses to open the doors. With no answers, I must depart. Margaret is alone with our two boys. Being a man does not give one excuse to abandon his children. You know, he's right. In fact, that was, it almost gives you, like, a, an opposite of an excuse. But then, like, are you dead here? Because... Seems like you did not accomplish your mission. But what I was gonna say is, no matter what, like, increased critical hit chance. Let's pop it, boys. What strange thing what could is have happening? dragged grandmother this far? <laughs> it's, it's the early bird special. Obelisks to aid At the, the buffet guardians. delight. This was the only thing Margaret silently whispered. Obelisk. Remembrance unlocked. Movement speed is increased. I guess it's like Diablo style. It's like a permanent or a, a temporary stat bonus. That's cool. So we're a little faster. Honestly, Granny? I remember this sort of symbol from Diablo too. Oh! Oh, all the obelisks work! What? Has it finally happened? Grandmother. She's done it, maybe? <laughs> the shopkeeper said he would like to offer a Nearby enemies take damage when rescue, you're attacked. Increases amount of morph. Many Reset cooldown of all abilities fill your rage. <laughs> Drops a gemstone. Um, I think we're gonna go nearby enemies take damage when you're attacked. It's a passive, which sounds cool. And we can't really afford anything. We can trade two gemstones for a gemstone. Don't need HP anymore. Um... Well, why do I like uh, takes damage when you're attacked? Because I'm assuming we can uh, hold shift and just and have like the weak enemies just burn themselves out. Let's we'll see if that's true. First, I will require some weak enemies. Okay, so oh, jeez, Louise. I will say, I was gonna say like, well, no matter what happens, I think we. Thank you, thank you. We've had a pretty decent performance here. But not good, but decent. Between two runs. Now I'm like, there's a chance. Let's be honest. It's not likely for me to beat this boss. We made almost no headway last time. Strongly reduces damage taken. Unfortunately, it had a casting time, so I took damage in the process anyway, but, um... What I'm trying to say... I'm frozen. He's frozen. He did take 10 damage after he hit me. I'm trying to say we got a chance now. Thanks to the obelisks actually being, uh, available now. I didn't even know that's what was gonna happen, but I'm for it either way. Yo, what the heck is this? Summons a dragon that damages enemies and leaves a damaging pool? For a run that... Yikes. 
from my perspective, was a little jacked up for a little while. Now it actually feels pretty sweet. Also got the exact perfect amount of gold. Just hold shift, you got him. Uh, yo, it's so rich down here, dude. So save your control ability. Remember, you got a Q, you got a control. You're gonna level up pretty soon. I, I'm not saying we got a chance, but I'm saying maybe we've learned... Maybe we've learned enough to have a successful John run if we get carried. Which is bad, but better than it used to be for us. Dude. We have like a... We have a perfect storm of abilities to just tank. Stand still, hold shift, summon an enormous Liu Kang style dragon to eat your enemies. Hold control for invulnerability. Oh, yikes, dude! So get out. I do want this. It's, it's health regen. Or it, maybe it just healed us. Either way, it's pretty solid. Legally, you have to love that. If you watch the series, you have to love that. Okay. Much... Feeling much better. Let's put it that way. Okay, you guys have got to go. Summoners in a circle. Stop with the summoning Surely circles, okay? Nothing would come from it. Just watching the stam. A new challenger appeared. That's all right. I, was, I wasn't gonna stop it. Get it. Run, 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 run. Okay, get stam back and then press Q on that thing. I'll live with it. Okay. Oh my god. No gemstones remain. It's fine. That's probably the exit for us. Let's be real here. We really don't want to use our control ability. So we're going to right click on enemies. We're going to kite them around. I think we might even just wait for a stun. Okay, it just went off on the wrong guys. Then just... Toss in a quick little Q here, and then keep them in that general area. It's it's working. We're about to level up, too. You gotta go, though. Like, you're a big piece of work. Work is what you want to say when you want to continue to not say bad words. Why did I let him hit me? I was In my head, I was like, we can tank a hit. Like, a second after it... Uh, dawned on me. Let me rephrase. A second after it dawned on me. Um, why why take a hit for any reason at all in this game? Doesn't make any, any flippin' sense. So I... Basically, I want to level up. And then I want to go down to the boss fight again. So let's see what we got in here. No shop, please. It's a shop. Um, that's gonna be an issue. But it is what it is, and, uh, just fight, like, two more enemies, maybe? Oh, hello, sir. There's one. There's no excuse to be taking damage against these guys. Look, if that's as good as our HP is gonna get... That's as good as our HP is going to get. Definitely level up. Let's make invulnerability last two seconds longer. <laughs> and uh, wish me a little bit of luck here. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get destroyed again. I wish there was just a little healing. But we, we got a lot to learn. So again, I wouldn't even try... I mean, we could tank one of this guy's hits, because it's probably... I think it only does 20-something. I think that might allow us to keep our armor up. Mayor Dyer, the mother of beasts and goddess of anguish. Hey, quit bragging. The protector. Does every god get an end? Stone made living. Okay, so step one is just, like, shift. 
Still hurts. I was holding shift on that one. Now, control. <laughs> What the frick? It almost worked. I told- I'm she- I shielded it. Man, I don't know. We got like a halfway there just with brute force. <laughs> but you know what? I have to say, like, it was a much better run on the second attempt. We still got a lot to learn, but, uh, it's As a start. Mary was always there for him, he was there for her. To catch her when she fell. Or to simply enjoy together a book of past memories. That's nice. Comfy moment. Um, whenever Margaret deciphers a tablet, Rhea reveals something new to the Bergsons. Given enough resources, she will then be able to the strengthen the family. The mysteries of the world were like open books to the wise. Okay. And words from the wise a tech tree. shall benefit man and Order. beast. Yo, for a little bit of gold, increase the efficiency of obelisk effects. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so, th dude, those obelisks are an actual game changer, I think. I'm assuming this tells us what we can afford. I think... I mean, dodge is, is nice, but just give me some raw attack for now. And I'm, dude, I'm stoked. I'm still stoked. Every episode, they just give me a little bit more. Just enough, you know? Yo, what is this? Like, uh, Earth Defense Force Thanos? Anyway. Um, they give me just a little drip, drip, drip of content that keeps me engaged. And I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are as well. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will. See you next time. See ya!